All right, so we well, we just finished having a wonderful experience with the children, so excuse my sweat. But can you tell one more time, because this ain't about Democrat and Republican and all this stuff about race and everything. What is this about, ma'am? It's about the kids and our future and so you can hear my message. The kids need to be exposed to all of this because they're the future and they need to see this because otherwise there are a lot of kids who don't have the opportunity to hear or see things that will build them into great citizens for the future. Amen, amen. amen. And, and that is what this country is all about. Is God correct. bless you. God bless America. Let's go get them. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. One more time. And I want you to stand right here. Mr. D, can you stand right here? Okay, young ladies, I need you to step forward. Matter of fact, we're going to do this right here. Here's the thing. We're going to do this. Because this is very important. Mr. D, take the seat. What? Now, Mr. D is my generation, Generation X, okay? You guys are right here. Now, Mr. D, close your eyes and act like you're choking. He's choking. Now, what are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do? Because this is what America is trying to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, question. Now, one last thing I want y'all to understand is when you're dealing with other people, never see them as different because it is. Always embrace them. And the best way to become successful in this world, because even though I'm sweating, I started off at the bottom. And Mr. D was there, and he saw a whole lot of things, a whole lot of problems that I had in my life. I was actually homeless and sleeping on the streets, okay? I got into it with my mom, and she kicked me out the house. And I had nowhere to go. But because of the love and care of other people, and this is why I did this exercise, I'm sorry that I'm sweating. But I was laying on the ground just like that, okay, just like you. And it was people who were black, who were white, male, female, different political affiliations, whether they Democrats, Republicans, none of this stuff mattered. Thank you, sweetheart. They came and helped me when I was on the ground. And they picked me up. And they helped me. And all these years later, and then Mr. D was also one of these people who encouraged me to keep on going regardless of everything that I was going through, regardless of how much I was suffering in life, Mr. D did this to me and he helped to pick me up. So I will always be appreciative. Hold on, let me give you yours. I will always be appreciative of my brother because now I'm running for Congress. I done traveled all around the world. I done seen a whole bunch of really, really good things in life. But if it wasn't for good people coming together to help me, I would not be here. And that is what my that is what Martin Luther King Jr. honestly he lived for. That's the message that he pushed for us to help each other, for us to pick each other up, that it should not matter what we look like or what our skin color is, 
but for us to connect and help each other. That is what Dr. Albina King talks about. She says, we aren't just a whole bunch of races of people. We are one race, the human race, and we are to help each other. And this is the message that I push on my platforms when I'm traveling around the country, when I'm talking to different sets of people, don't matter where I am, we are here to help each other and pull each other up because you never know when it's gonna be you that's gonna be down. You understand? But it feels so good when people care about you and love you enough, but they don't care about your differences, they don't care what you look like, they simply do this and say, come on.